Kid Rock is in the news today following remarks he made at the third annual Kid Rock's Fish Fry in Nashville over the weekend. After walking out on stage to the tune of Hail to the Chief, Rock addressed his audience and began what would develop into a rap speech hybrid like this. What's going on in the world today? It seems the government wants to give everybody health care but wants us all to pay. Well, to be very frank, I really don't have a problem with that. But that's because God has blessed me and made my pockets fat. But a redistribution of wealth seems more like their plan. And I don't believe that you should save, sacrifice, do things by the book, and then have to take care of some deadbeat milk in the system, lazy ass mother. From there, Rock encouraged potential detractors by inviting his opposition to call him a racist because he isn't politically correct, before going on to say, quote, all you assholes, stay the f away to Nazis, bigots, and the KKK. The Michigan native was not done there, continuing his address by offering his take on the issue of LGBTQ rights. Why these days everything's so damn gay? I mean, gay rights this, transgender that. I say to hell with it, let them get married if they want, because we got way bigger problems to worry about than all that. But things shouldn't be this complicated, and no, you don't get to choose because whatever you have between your legs should determine the bathroom that you use. Pretty simple. There was a concert eventually with rock performing originals like You Never Met a Mother Like Me, along with covers like Rod Stewart's Maggie May. Before saying goodbye, Rock, with a montage of soldiers and the American flag playing behind him on stage screens, asked the crowd, wouldn't it be a sight to see President Kid Rock in Washington, D.C., standing on the desk in the Oval Office like a G, holding my d ready to address the whole country. Now, if you'd like more information on this story, you can head to Billboard.com to read Isaac Weeks' full account. And until next time for Billboard News, I'm Kevin Kenny.